It's 10.05 a.m. Let's see what just arrived at the front door. Oh, yeah. Got some corals in the mail. Coral! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So, I placed an order with aquacorals.com. I don't typically order things online. I am surrounded by a lot of really great places to get fish and coral. But now that I'm doing a softy dominant tank, it is a little difficult to find softies because, you know, they're not big sellers, I guess. They're not really sought after. So, found this place online. They actually um, clip from their homegrown corals, you know, the stuff in their systems, which I think is really good. It's tank raised. I love that. So I did place an order and put that to the side. Oh, I like this cooler. You guys know me. I love coolers. I keep them and keep them in my truck at all times because you never know. I could be driving somewhere that I've never been before and then boom, all of a sudden there is a store there. So a little bit of water on the bottom, probably from when it was originally packaged because the cooler itself is styrofoam. Get this box out of the way. Open this up real quick. So, I, um, you know, I was on their website and they actually have pictures of the coral that they have in their tank and it's numbered. So it's pretty cool because you get to see what it looks like ahead of time. What am I doing here with all of this tape? I just go like this. So you get to see the coral, what it looks like when it's uh, full size, full grown, I guess you could say, or as a colony, which I think is really good. So I said, you know what? I actually found this web this website. One day I was on the phone with Murphy's Aquatics, and I was telling them how hard it is to find softies. So he started getting to it and started sending me all kinds of stuff. And... Alright, so like I said, a little bit of wetness, but it's probably from packaging. But well, I really, really put a lot of insulation on this, which is really cool. Alright, here it is. Here's my order. Here's the yellow elegance toadstool. And all of them do come on rocks, which is awesome. Now that I'm getting more into the softies, it is very hard to find soft coral that is, um, you know, that you have to attach. This is the snowflake toadstool. You know, when you get softies, it's hard to get them to attach to something. Wow, this is a big piece. This is the yellow branching Cinularia. And the last one is the blue-gray Cinularia. Nice little guy right there. So pretty cool. All the bags are full of water. Are, are full of water. Nothing's squishing out. So... I'm not sure where this water came from. I'm not too concerned about it because, like I said, everything is totally full. So I'm going to put these in the sump and then acclimate them, dip them, and get them in the tank. All right, so here we are. Um, so I got these at 10 o'clock this morning. By the time I was done acclimating them and dipping them and chipping away at the rocks that I didn't want, I finally got them in the tank. It was a about 1.30 ish. It's now 9 o'clock at night. So these guys have been in, in my tank less than 8 hours and they are already showing signs of pure joy. That's what I like to say. You can see this big toadstool right here is looking really happy. The Cinularia down here it's starting to show its little polyps. And then, oh, look at that guy. He's already cleaning. He's already cleaning. Um, this one right here, I already know this one's going to be my favorite. I'm calling it right now. This is this awesome bluish green skin with these really bright yellow polyps. It's such a cool shape. It's uh, I can't wait till that thing gets massive. And then this little guy down here, fully happy. They got to just get a little bit more happier and, and uh, you know, the big toadstool in the back and then this little one over here. They just got to stand up, you know, stand to attention and... But other than that, I mean, from dipping them and chiseling at the rocks and cutting away at the rocks, I was a little rough with these guys, and they are all, they're already excited. Look at them. That thing is awesome. 
So I am extremely happy. Uh, I did end up getting about 20 bristle stars, the beneficial kinds. Uh, I love them. They were nice, big, juicy ones. Threw them right in my sump. Actually was able to get the turkey baster and suck up three of the live brine shrimp. I put them in the sump as well. I know they like to multiply like crazy. And um, when I dipped everything, the only thing I found out of all that rock was two bristle worms. So that is really, really good. I'm excited about this purchase because many reasons. Great communication from the seller. Lady's name was Penny. Uh, I had one question when I first found the website and I got a response within six hours. And it was late at night. So that was awesome. Um, and like I said, they do show pictures of the colonies, of them full grown, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know if you would consider it a colony, but what, you know, the frag that you want, what it looks like when it gets massive. So that's another plus. Everything arrived really good. It was 75.5 degrees in the um, cooler, you know, in the water. So not even a full four degrees of a drop. And it arrived before noon. Just so many good things. A really good experience. If you guys are looking for softies, they are hard to find. I highly recommend them. Um, just great communication. Just seems like a great company. You know, homegrown corals. Can't beat that. Oh, I can't wait to see that thing. Look at it. Look at that. Looking good. So, that's it for now, everybody. And you know what I think we're going to do? Maybe take a sneak peek at a new mushroom that I just got. Uh, okay, we'll save that for next time. That's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.